How to Regenerate Earth. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 160. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 160, April 17th, 2016 edition. As always, I'm recovering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all of the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we'll add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, Designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner-teacher collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the third 25% of the written content for the summer lesson plan to the website, as you can see here. This lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of summer is now 75% complete on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the first 25% of the written part of the honesty and integrity lesson plan. We also completed the third 25% of the mind map for the cooperation and collaboration lesson plan, bringing it to 75% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week on Highest Good Food, we added the finalized versions of 3D renders to our transition kitchen page, as you can see here. These renders are part of the development of our food self-sufficiency transition plan, which features contributions from naturopathic doctor Matt Martirano, creator of the Coherent Model for Comprehensive Digestive Health. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also began exploring new ways to share the planting plan specifics of the tropical atrium that is the center of the Earth Bag Village Pod 1. What you see here are the two different layout options we're exploring. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind the scenes revision for the footers, foundations, and flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was on the section 12 floor construction narrative insertion regarding polyethylene used to repel water from upward pressure of groundwater. Also section 14 subterranean exterior ground finish consisting of the creation of horizontal waterproofing below ground and away from the walls to minimize and eliminate additional water penetration from surface level down and toward the subterranean dome walls. We'd say we are now 77% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. Working on the Treehouse Village Pod 7, Jessica Rohrbach, architectural drafter, designer, and 3D modeler, added updated ramp textures and designs to the external render you see here, and also started exploring furniture layouts for the Treehouse family structures. Dean Scholz, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 15 of this work that included the beginnings of designing a representation of what we envision the natural and do-it-yourself constructed outdoor water features would look like. Brianna Johnson, interior designer, also continued evolving the renders for the Straw Bale Village Pod 2. What you see here is her final render for the game room. 
One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working on the renders for the cupola that will top the Duplical City Center. What you see here is a pull-down projector screen for watching movies and the theater room layout with floor chairs that can be folded and stored under benches. Ira Sue, industrial designer, continued exploring lighting and shelving options for the Duplical City Center library. What you see here is round three of this research, exploration, and design, focusing on artistic and functional options for the odd angled corners. Behind the scenes, Mike Hogan, automation systems developer and business systems consultant, and Lucas Tasui Da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, continued discussion for development of the control systems main panel. This week's focus was this collage of pictures showing one of Mike's automation systems retrofits. And this tutorial Mike created for the engineer and licensed electrician volunteers were seeking to help with the next steps of the design. These steps will include helping with specifications for loads, wire sizes, conduit runs, schematics, panel placements, etc. Wang Bao, software developer, also continued transferring the work of last year's intern team into the new Duplical City Center electrical page. What you see here is the second third of the complete content live on the new page. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team continued the final edits and reorganization of the icons designed by graphic designer Ivan Monzarov. The icons we finished and organized this week were the highest good energy icon shown here. We'd say we are now about 80% done with this graphics task. Lokesh Gopu, software engineer, also continued building the new version of One Community's highest good network software for project tracking and sustainable community collaboration. Here is his second generation layout showing additional functionality this application will provide. Jonathan DeAcentis, graphic designer and web developer, additionally took the work of Miriam Sargison, graphic designer and project manager, and began further development of our highest good network logo as shown here. What it all really comes down to is how to regenerate Earth. How to get our planet back to the vibrant, thriving ecosystem that we all share that it used to be. If you're paying attention right now, most people realize that we are decimating our fish populations, our animal populations, we're ruining our environment. A lot of negative things that are happening right now, but we are an intelligent species incapable of turning this around. And so one community is doing everything that we can to support that in a way that's non-ideological, it's non-threatening, um, non it's designed to really encourage people to participate, honestly, for selfish reasons for reasons that will allow them to have more free time, more money, more of the things that they want by building on a sustainable platform. And so what we're doing is we're open sourcing and free sharing all the foundations of a sustainable civilization. We believe that all of our planet's challenges and all of humanity's challenges are not only interrelated, but they're interdependent. And so we've created a comprehensive model for how to regenerate Earth and to create happier people with more of what they want built on a foundation of sustainability. And to do this, we've created an evolution of sustainability that takes the physical foundations, which are food, energy, and housing, and combines them with what we've identified as the emotional foundations of sustainability, which are high good education, high good economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship. And we are open sourcing and free sharing these and putting them together as a complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub that could be built anywhere in the world, and is designed to teach others how to create teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs too. Our idea is if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate this idea as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. This is why we say we want to be non-threatening, we want to be non-ideological, and we are open sourcing and free sharing everything so that it can be implemented and replicated as either the individual components or as a complete teacher demonstration hub so that through the open source model, people can adapt it, modify it, change it the way that they want. And so this is our idea of highest good living and creation and bringing together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all. People that believe that now is the time to create a better world or people that just want to do it for their own personal selfish reasons, as I've already said. Because we believe that the way to regenerate our planet 
is creating a self-replicating model that gives people more of what they want built on regenerative elements. And so everything's replicable as either their individual components or as a complete teacher demonstration hub, a solution model designed to create additional solution creating models, but created with the consciousness for the highest good of all, so that everything that we do is moving us in the right direction. And so regardless of how people implement what it is that we're doing, it's still going to help regenerate our planet. This is how to regenerate Earth. Our idea. And so we're open sourcing, free sharing it so people can adapt it, modify it, and do it the way that they believe, or do it completely differently, built off of our foundations, or completely differently, just looking at what we're doing and realizing that, hey, we could do it better in some other way. We don't claim to have the best way. When we say that we live and create for the highest good of all, we're just doing the best that we know how, and we're constantly adapting and evolving and growing our models to be better. And we're open sourcing it so that anybody who'd like to do it differently can. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds interesting to you, we've got lots of different ways to participate, ranging from the Pioneer team, which will move to the property and build everything that we're designing right now, to just volunteering as a consultant or a volunteer working behind the scenes, contributing your knowledge and know-how and skills to move things forward. Or the easiest way to help us out is through sharing our information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We're on Pinterest, we're on Twitter, we're on LinkedIn, Tumblr, Reddit, Sue. Pinterest, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible to get our information out there because we know that once enough people have access to what it is that we're doing, and once we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, the idea will spread on its own. There's a tipping point of participation that will be achieved when we will create a sustainable planet that truly works for everyone living here. This is what one community is up to. This is what we're doing. Of course, the biggest way that somebody could help, and we're not focusing a lot on this because we're focusing right now mostly on all the blueprints, the tools, the tutorials, resources, everything needed for us to be shovel ready, but we're still seeking large scale funding. So if you or somebody you know knows somebody with the resources to help us get the property off the market, we could share that location. It would allow us to build our team exponentially faster, allow us to open source and free share things exponentially faster, and allow us to do a lot of things that we can't do right now that are slowing us down, like a site survey. Even though we've had the property identified and we've been working with the county and establishing relationships for the last five years, we can't do a lot of things because we don't own it and the property could change. So helping us get that property off the market would be fantastic. Uh, of course, we also like to say thank you for all the small donations that we get, the $5, the $10. Our expenses far out see, significantly our, uh, exceed our donations. And so those little donations help us to offset that so that the excess doesn't have to come out of my pocket and the team's pocket. And so uh, little donations, $5, $10, $20, the occasional $50 donation that we get is truly appreciated. Thank you for your support. Thank you for all those little donations. Thank you for following our progress. Um, almost equally as important as sharing our stuff on social media, as I said, that really helps us out too. If we are to regenerate Earth for everyone, every living thing on this planet, it's going to be a collective effort. And so one community is doing everything that we can to facilitate that process, to make it easy, to clear away the barriers that would make it so that people don't feel that they have the knowledge or they understand how much it's going to cost or what it would take or how many hours of labor or what the end result's going to be to create a prototype that people can visit. And if they like what they experience as one community, if they like any aspect of it, they can take that and replicate it, modify it, adapt it to their own needs. And so we can spread this concept of highest good food, highest good energy, highest good housing, highest good education, fulfilled living practices, highest good economics, in little bits and pieces, and is that complete teacher demonstration hub for all to benefit and teaching other people how to create that as well, adapting it for all environments, taking the resources where they're needed most in the world, and starting to create a global community, one community of all people living on this planet, working together for the highest good of all life on this planet cooperating and collaborating together to create the world that we really know is possible. This is what we're doing. So as always, thanks for following our progress. Thanks for your support. And until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you.